Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I just came back from my vacation. Uh, I thank you all for your message of support on Discord or whatever. Uh, I've got a lot of DMs as usual. And people were quite understanding uh, when I told them that I was just not available. So thank you for that. And I'm... I just wanted to record this video to make to to do like a sum up of uh, like the whole island, and I think that like I just opened the chat and <laughs> yeah, it's it's quite funny because uh, I I just read uh, what people are saying and it basically sum up uh, what happened in this island. So PH one uh, as salty as ever. By Gil uh, Gilga, I hope not to see you again. Uh, Avalonia, uh, not seen much of him anyway, uh, I don't even know who it is, but, well, uh, he or she must be blind, because I've literally been online for like 20 hours a day, uh, the first few weeks, then I went on vacation, and honestly, I could have played, uh, on vacation as much as usual, or at least uh in a decently manner but the island was so uninteresting that i just enjoyed my vacation a hundred percent and i think that it was a good decision anyway yeah as i said that's quite surprising uh considering that you guys did everything you could to come at us uh for 45 days uh because this is literally what happened uh i was talking about you specifically again i don't know what he or she is talking about, uh, knowing how much I've been online, even though I was on vacation for the two whole last weeks. Anyway, um, yeah, this basically sums up what happened this island. It was <laughs> everyone against HOC or Havoc. Maybe not everyone, but... Uh, yeah, this command is also funny. Uh, LOD is stronger than HOC. We've had it thought ag uh, tough against LOD. Uh, we basically fought against PH1. Uh, literally just as the, f the fighting started happening, uh, just when it, like, when the gate opened, we went after PH1. Uh, at the beginning and if you look at the map uh, I didn't record the past few days on oh my bed the past few days but like where is PH1 right here I don't see anyone right here okay uh, in the last few hours they took the seat a little but if you take a quick look at the map uh, we are being attacked by literally three clans uh, three of them being the three best clans in this island so uh lod is better than hoc uh, i'm not there to open the debate or not but just look at the map uh i think it says it all they be basically lost against ph1 uh meanwhile we didn't lose anything as a matter of fact we took everything from them uh so yeah just don't listen to people talking um, and I'm also doing this video because I've got a lot of DMs of people asking me like uh, it seems that even the great Buddhas or NW bend the knee to 777 and I'm not there again to open the debate whether or not it is true but I'll give you some information uh, based on actually what happened on the island and you guys can make your opinion uh, based on that uh, as always I believe that people or rather human are always biased by nature and um, the elements I'm going to bring to you uh, may be biased so you're all free to make your own opinion of the situation and stuff but in my opinion uh 77 didn't like wasn't stronger than nwo they just played it much better which in a sense is being better but yeah you know 
Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is basically what happened. Uh, I hope that the next day, I know they all can agree to go against Havoc too. Uh, it keeps the community, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no dirty joke to respond to this comment. Well, that's enough of the chat for today. Uh, I'm pretty sure that people are <laughs> going to go wild. Uh, there is only two and a half hours left before Dino Island ends. So people are obviously bored and they have to go after someone, which is often me. <laughs> Whatever, so, as you guys can see, uh, this is NWO territory, this is ours, uh, this is PH1, this is HAW, uh, this is LOD, and right here we've got 777, here we've got Sal, Salvadores, and finally here we've got... Um, uh, sunrise. So as you guys can see, Sun basically bailed uh, the island pretty early on, to be honest. Uh, they've got some huge trouble uh, internally. Um, they weren't that strong anyway. Uh, in my opinion, Region 16 is pretty bad in terms of quality. They've got crazy numbers. They've got a few individuals that aren't bad, but overall um this region suck ass in my opinion uh it's just a whole bunch of a lot of people uh but in terms of quality it's pretty bad and this island just proved it uh like i'm actually surprised that they still got so many structures because they basically haven't played uh for like the past three weeks or maybe two but whatever um, I I mean it, I'm not that surprised because obviously NW were more focused on us and uh, Seven Seven were more focused on coming after us. But like maybe Sal could have done something, or uh, maybe they were just happy with what they had. I don't know. Uh, Sal and Sun have been pretty an impactful in this whole island. Um, Sal made an agreement. At first, they were allied with Sun, LOD, and us. Um, but they made an agreement with 77, which was, I mean, 77 didn't have to make any agreement. They could have just destroyed them. But uh, it was pretty smart on their end because it allowed them to save up their strength, uh, not heal or anything, not burn any resources before uh, it was actually needed. So that was pretty smart on their end not to go after someone for absolutely no reason. Uh, they knew they could dominate right here anyway. So they didn't have to fight uh, for anything here. And they just had to focus on the center, or rather the second zone, the clash zone. Uh, since Sun was uh, basically AFK and useless, they could take it all, uh, and Sal didn't go after it. So they built up a shitload of powers and points and didn't use up any resources. In the meantime, uh, we fought against NWO PH1 uh, pretty much at the same time, most of the time. So we burnt a lot of resources. NWO did burn some, but the people who burnt the most were PH1, because these are the ones we fought against the most. So yeah, as I said, uh, I don't know who's stronger between NWO and 7-7. But in terms of strategy, they were the smartest. Uh, I don't know who initi initiated the whole alliance between alliance between NWO seven 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 PH one and HAW. But I'm pretty sure it's seven seven seven, and they did really good. Um, in at the beginning uh, of the island, I made a video about the starting areas. 
And in my tutorials, I said that starting areas are merely an advantage and diplomacy is worth far more than starting areas or tactic, unfortunately. And this island is the perfect example of that. Uh, in my opinion, we had the better, the best starting area, but in terms of diplomacy, um, we did ally with NW at the beginning, but they bailed on us, uh, which is fine. And then we allied with clans that were like Sun imploded, um, Sal was, well, whatever, they they were too far to do anything, not strong enough anyway, and LOD, uh, even though they could have played a huge role, uh, we did some things with each other and it was nice, but we were against clans that were much stronger than LOD or even us, so in the end, indeed, it didn't work, so yeah. Uh, as for HAW, uh, I mean, they did the best they could. Uh, they were lucky enough to make an alliance with uh, PH1777 and NWO. They, no ma even, even without it, they wouldn't have been able to go past their starting area. Uh, the alliance allowed them to get the center for a day for their success, which is pretty fun or pretty cool. I mean, it was smart from coming from them. Uh, and honestly, uh, thumbs up to 777 uh, PH1 and NWO for allowing them to get the center for a day to get the success. I mean, this clan was pretty weak. Uh, it didn't have anything to do in this island to begin with. So it's kind of cool that they managed to to get to get something out of it, like the success and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, without diplomacy and stuff, uh, there this island would have been a nightmare to them. So it's it, it's quite nice that they managed to pull something off like this. Um, yeah. So as for PH one. Um, well, I don't know what to say. Uh, they were more focused on ruining our own island rather than getting something for themselves. Uh, at the end of the day, they managed to get something for themselves because they got all this area. Uh, if LOD was stronger, they this should never have been possible. I'm honestly surprised that it is even possible, but well, it is how it is. Um, as you guys can see, it was basically PH177 and NWO all allying against us, against Havoc. So, good job to them, honestly. Um, strategically speaking, diplomacy speaking, uh, it was pretty well done. Um, I don't know if I should feel depressed, uh, laugh or whatever. I find it kind of ridiculous to see... Uh, like in this island, in my opinion, uh, the three best clans were were HOC, NW, and Seven Seven. I think we are nearly on par with PH One. They are pretty good themselves, but I think we have the edge, uh, and the neutral area proves it. We basically repel them, even though we were fighting on multiple fronts for like. The start of the of the island so yeah it's honestly it makes me kind of happy to see that some people are willing to go this far just to beat our clan like they literally the three best clans ally together together just to just to fight just to fight us uh honestly i'm quite proud of my clans uh, a few things could have been better but it's the same for all clans to be honest we've got some people that are inactive as you guys can see one month 27 days 25 7 uh well whatever i think it's the case in every single clans single clans um all clans have spies as well and stuff like that uh which is fine it's part of the game but at the same time, I find it quite disappointing to see that 
clans that are that are so powerful had to gang up three on one like this like two on one uh why not three on one i mean it's the game but yeah it sounds it sounds kind of ridiculous to me uh still thumbs up honestly good job you won it uh i'm quite surprised that 7-7 seven, seven won against nw1 but again uh, they didn't have to fight at all until they actually hit the center. Uh, meanwhile, NWO fought us a couple of times. And even though we were weakened by our multiple fights against them and PH1, uh, it was some fight that cost them a few resources. So... They were weakened themselves and they've lost some times and stuff. So 777 really did a good job in terms of tactics. They came in with uh, full resources, full healing stuff. Like they basically have had everything saved up. Uh, meanwhile, the other clans uh, depleted their resources fighting each other. So... They really got the best out of this alliance and I'm quite surprised that the other clans let them have their way so easily. But well, it is what it is. Maybe uh, NWO is happy with the second place. I'm pretty sure that PH1 is happy with the, their third place. Uh, they would have never gotten there without it, without this alliance. And this is the whole principle of the island. I'll say it once again, but diplomacy is worth far more than starting area or tactics, unfortunately. So be smart, make the right alliance, uh, and don't be a YouTuber. Uh, don't try to help people, especially if you are true to yourself and don't suck ass. Uh, maybe I'm sometimes a bit salty or whatever, but I think that I've helped this community much more than I've been uh bad to it so whatever uh if you want <laughs> uh good allies probably don't be a youtuber or not if you like well whatever um congratulations to everyone who participated in this island the first few weeks have been pretty fun uh after that i've honestly lost interest and i've enjoyed my vacation a hundred percent uh, I hope that the next one will be a bit funnier and that it will be much less one-sided. Um, I would have loved to see a somewhat fair fight between NWO and 777 or even AVOC or PH1. Uh, this whole alliance uh, is pretty disappointing, but well, it is the game. Um, and thumbs up to them. Uh, I really mean it. Uh, strategically speaking, it was the best decision they could have ever done. And it worked even better with Sun being out of the game and LOD having some troubles on their own and not being as strong as we had expected. Anyway... Uh, hope you guys enjoy the videos. I hope that he, like watching the whole map clears out a bit of the things about people asking me like uh, Was 777 this strong? Uh, and yes, they are very strong. Uh, I don't think that we even needed this island to to know to know that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, can we actually? I don't know if I can like info clan nope oh we can see so yeah i was right uh they were allied with sal anyway whatever uh yeah what i was saying is that we didn't even need this island to know that they were pretty strong same as nwo uh same for us i mean we beat and we beat nwo uh in the atlantis and we are the only clan so far who beat them like, each clans right here didn't have anything to prove. Uh, this is a very interesting challenge, though, because it shows what clans can do for a whole 45 days and not just an hour like the Atlantis. 
very cool challenge uh, yeah whatever <laughs> i hope that you all enjoyed um the island the videos whatever and good luck to everyone after that um we are supposed to i mean it's not an official information or anything but if it's anything like ants underground the game that is just like this one we are supposed to have a uh, migration uh very soon and i if i'm not mistaken um there is already a trench regional assembly for people who want to migrate right now and start the island a few days after this one so it's up to you guys to just leave uh, the region where you're in uh, go to an island right away uh, just don't forget uh, if you take a look right here my gold my belt my stone my wood uh, basically everything is depleted uh, and if you go to the warrior rescue i'm gonna get these back uh, uh, on that note, they modified it. Uh, the 17% wasn't working well. They told us that the values that we had before the patch were wrong. So, I don't know. Maybe we've we've been robbed. Uh, maybe it was actually not accurate and they fixed it. Uh, we will never know. But one thing is sure. I would screen that and see that you get it all back. I'm going to do it right now, actually. So, if there is a bug, you can actually complain to the support and stuff. And yeah, I wish you all um, a nice day, evening, whatever it is. Uh, if you guys are on vacation, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget that the game comes after everything else. <laughs> so yeah, don't hesitate to enjoy your vacation. Uh, the worst that can happen is that people will tell you that you were... <laughs> Let me scroll. <laughs> Whoa, they... Yeah. Worst ca that can happen is that people will tell you that you were not there or that they haven't seen much of you anyway. I think that anyone can live with that. <laughs> See you guys.